Today, we're going to be experimenting with the infamous sudo rm-rf slash command. So you may know that what this command does is it deletes every single file on your drive, including the system files, so it breaks your Linux system. So you may have seen people joke about this command on forums and on other social media platforms, and you may have also seen internet trolls advising people to run it. But that got me thinking, to actually happen if you were to run sudo rm-rf slash. Now obviously Linux would no longer boot, but how much damage would you really do by running this command? So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. We're going to do a real life demonstration. So just as a huge disclaimer, you do not want to run this command on your Linux system as it will break any Linux system that you run it on. In fact, I'm actually going to be doing this in a virtual machine, so I'm not going to go destroy a regular use Linux box. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so what I have here is a fresh install of Ubuntu 20.04, and I've done nothing to it other than installing updates, changing basic settings, such as problem reporting, and enabling scaling. So let's go into terminal. And try running sudo rm-rf slash. Let's try running this lethal command. All right, and if you were to actually run this on your Linux box, it'll just give this error. It says, it is dangerous to operate recursively on slash, which it's really smart that they have this failsafe built in, just that way a noob can't run this and damage their system, which the dash RF stands for recursive force, and RM stands for remove. That's why it says, dangerous to operate recursively. So I could just end off the video like this, but if I were to do that, this video would be very boring and unsatisfying. So in this case, we do actually want to operate this command recursively on slash. So let's look at the message below this. It says, use dash dash no preserve root to override this failsafe. So we're gonna run that same command, except with dash dash no preserve root. You don't want to do this, obviously, because this will actually break any Linux box that you run it on. Like, do not try this at home unless you know how to set up and use a virtual machine. But anyway, I'm running the lethal command in three, two, one. All right, I'm going to assume it's working. All right, let's see what more happens. Oh, first thing I notice. Everything's off the dock, except for terminal. And looks like my background just went away. Oh, icons also went away, except for these. Oh. Now it's just completely blank. Wow, this is like a ghost town. I got the words here, but with no icon. Oh. Something happened. Just left a bunch of output, and then this happened. I assume this is a kernel panic. Okay, something actually happened. Failed to create new runtime journal. But the crazy thing is I still have my mouse cursor. So let's see what more happens. If nothing happens for a good while, we'll just reboot. All right, it's been a little while. Nothing else has been happening, so let's reboot and see what happens. I'm assuming we just broke our Linux installation. Oh, even that's not working. Failed to reset the virtual machine. I guess we're gonna have to do it this way. Now let's try rebooting our VM and see what happens. All right, so far I'm just getting a black screen. Let's see if anything else happens. Oh, ooh. Looks like we just get like a bunch of error messages. Can't execute slash sbin slash init. Got a lot of no such file directory errors. That's the thing you never want to see. Ooh, and I wonder what BusyBox is. Let's look for help, because I think we just broke our Linux installation. Oh, I wonder what this yes command is. Oh, he just puts out Ys. Like, yes, I just broke my Linux installation. Let's just put out Ys for no reason whatsoever. So, you could safely say that this Linux installation is completely ruined, and you just have to do a full reinstallation on that computer that you affected. So please, do not try this at home unless you know how to set up and use a virtual machine. And please don't do this on anyone else's computer as a prank. It's not even funny, because you're just ruining someone else's Linux box for no reason. But anyway, 
that is what happens if you run sudo rm-rf slash. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, found it interesting, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.